Good day everyone, Napoleon here. I wanted to get this video out as quickly as I possibly could. Today is December the 29th, 2019. We're approaching the new year, 2020 here. And I wanted to get this out uh, before the new year, of course. Uh, S&P 500. There is potentially a pattern that's playing out present day that has already played out uh, prior to the Great Depression back in the 1930s. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over the similar patterns that have potentially already played out here in the charts. Uh, we're going to be going over that uh, and more. Now, if you're currently invested in the SP 500, um, whether that's uh, buying for to hold for long term or you're purchasing to bet against this instrument, you may want to stick around to the end. There's uh, some pretty interesting information in this, the charts here that you don't want to miss. So we'll be going over that and more here. So without further ado, let's get into the charts here, shall we? Okay, so since we're doing a comparison with present day, let's go ahead and go back into the future here. Uh, let's see, starting in 1872 up to 1930-ish uh, uh, is what we're comparing it to. Now, the picture that you're looking here in front of you, I kind of call this uh, my red, white, and blue stripe pattern, if it isn't obvious enough, right? Um, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, I guess. Uh, you got the red zone here, price zone, white zone, blue zone. Uh, you got the the bullseye actually up here in the red circled area and uh, the parabolic curve is pretty important notice this yellow parabolic curve hopefully we can get a nice uh, zoom in on that just to kind of verify the authenticity of this parabolic curve with respect to the break below here 1920s up to 1925 ish uh, hopefully we can all agree and say yeah it's a pretty uh, reasonable parabolic curve you got there okay so let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the there's three things that we're going to focus on here. There's actually two parts to each. I guess you can call them questions. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to uh, number one here. So the first thing we're going to have to do um, in comparison to what could potentially be going on present day, we're going to compare that to present day, right? Enter red zone. Okay. And A is officially break above parabolic curve and verify support on the parabolic curve. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. All right. So officially we had, we, we entered the um, red trading zone here. For those of you listening, that zone is going to be approximately $2.80 up to $6.60. That's the price range on uh, the red zone. Uh, we entered it in 1872 um, at a price around, let's see, about $4.90-ish. And uh, first thing we're verifying, the, the, the actual break above the parabolic curve which is labeled here in 1879. Price range is about $3.09. Uh, this is the official break above. And the second thing I think we need to verify is the uh, a support level above the parabolic curve. That's going to be this circled area here. Uh, that's going to be a price range of about $4.10. That happened in a 19, I'm sorry, 1896. Uh, that's when we found support above the parabolic curve. Okay, so moving right along, hopefully we can all agree and say yes, uh, we just zoomed in, we verified those two, and we can put a check mark at number one. Number two, enter white zone, uh, break below parabolic curve, and B, enter slash maintain price action within the green ascending lines. Okay, so let's go ahead and over to the uh, white trading zone here. Again, those of you listening in, the white trading zone is going to be $6.06. And let's see, uh, $10 and about 50 cents is the uh, white uh, zone that we're referring to. Uh, we actually entered this white zone in about uh, 1901. Okay. And the first thing that we're doing is, okay, so we're going to verify the break below the parabolic curve, which is right here. Looks like the year of uh, 1920, October-ish. Broke below the parabolic curve. Uh, we broke below at about $7.90, went all the way down to about $6.50, finding support uh, just below the um, white trading zone here. And next is we're going to verify, uh, what was it, enter slash maintain price action uh, within the green ascending line. So notice here, it's just at the tail end of the uh, white trading zone here. The year is about uh, 1923. October price range of about excuse me eight dollars and ten cents looks like we brought it all the way up till we broke back above the uh, parabolic curve in about uh, 1924 oh wait a minute yeah 19 
24 yes and the price range was about uh, about ten dollars and ten cents where it broke back above the uh, parabolic curve so uh, as we can see this should also get a check mark from everyone who's watching in and listening in uh, yes we should get a check mark for number two as well because we just verified the uh, break below and we verified the enter slash maintain price action within the green ascending line so yes we get a check mark for number two and we got an uh, enter blue zone and let's see break above pink resistance level and break above top ascending i can't see that break above top ascending green line of resistance okay so let's just zoom in here see if we got that so first thing is we got to uh, enter the uh, blue zone that's going to be about uh, the year let's see 1925 and approximately january we're going to enter at about ten dollars and fifty cents and let's see we call them all the way up to the uh break above pink resistance level this resistance level is going to be about 20 bucks years uh 1928 in about january uh, we broke above 20 bucks found a little resistance there right if you can see that found a little resistance where eventually the price broke above the uh, twenty dollar range again that's uh, 1928 in October so after breaking above next thing we got to verify is to break above the top ascending green line that the price has been uh, uh, trading within so let's see here we can identify that here the year is about uh, 1929 about January and the price is about twenty four dollars ninety cents another candle here same year uh, price is going to be probably about the same, about 25, 30 bucks. Okay. And so those are the two things that we just verified. And I think we can go ahead and check that off of our list as well. We found we, we broke above the pink resistance level, which is about at about 20 bucks and break above the top ascending green line of resistance. So, yeah, I mean, this obviously can be uh, break above the green ascending line as well. Uh, that is going to be the actual top out candle, which is about $30.10. And that happened in July-ish, uh, 1929, just before the Great Depression, of course. And, yeah, so hopefully we're all, you guys are still with me. And we just verified everything on number three as well. And we can get, <clears throat> excuse me, and we can get a check mark at number three. So that's it for the... Uh, uh, not before, prior to the Great Depression, uh, we got a check mark for all three. Let's see. Two other things I want us to remember before we head over to present day. Uh, the parabolic curve life duration, uh, which is measured from the official break above and the official break below the parabolic curve, which is about here, I think 1930, uh, July ish, right? Uh, so that's that's how I measured the uh, parabolic, the life duration of the parabolic curve be about 51 years okay and the actual break below the parabolic curve was about 41 years so just kind of keep those in the back of your memory as we go along here 41 break below 51 life duration of the curve here okay so let's head over to present day and see if we can find some similar patterns that could be potentially playing out here in the um, short term here uh, present day rather excuse me all right, so as you can see, it's um, somewhat similar. We got the red zone, um, we got the white zone, we got the blue zone. Uh, we got our green ascending lines, and we got the same little circled red area here. And I guess let's go ahead and start off first thing. Uh, they enter the red zone and officially break above parabolic curve and then verify support on parabolic curve. So let's go ahead and zoom in into the red zone here. For those of you listening in, the red zone is going to start from about $52.80-ish. And the top of the red zone is going to be approximately, whoa, huge zone there, uh, $472 ish, right? And the official break into the red zone is, um, let's see, 1958, um, price range, yeah, about 50, 50 ish bucks, right? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is verify the official break above the parabolic curve, which it looks to be labeled here. 1962 which is this candle right here in october uh price range is about not 59 dollars 40 cents uh the reason that i'm calculating the reason that it's not calculating but the reason that i'm counting this one and not this one here 
in 1961 is because, of course, we broke back below and we actually closed a full candle's body below. So that's the reason why I'm not counting those for those of you uh, who are wondering, who are looking and wondering why. So, yeah, the official break above is in 1962. And that's what we're counting as the official break above. And next thing we have to do is find support above the parabolic curve. First support level is going to be right here and about uh, 1974 and the price range is about sixty six dollars forty cents ish right so this is the official uh, support after the official break above the parabolic curve so we should all agree and say yes that's um, pretty good we can go ahead and put a check mark at number one because we verified those two okay and number two enter white zone uh, break below parabolic curve and enter slash maintain price action within the green ascending lines. These are the same questions, guys, from the uh, prior to the uh, Great Depression. So everything, I'm just, you know, asking the same questions here. So let's go to the white zone. And the official break above in the white zone took place in about 1995, January. Price range is about $474. And let's see here. Uh, the bottom, that's the bottom of the... Uh, the white zone, so the 470, for about 4080 ish, right? Uh, 1995. And the top of the white zone range is going to be uh, 1475 ish. Okay. So the two things we're verifying here is the break below the parabolic curve. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. And right off the bat, you can see uh, 2009 was the actual break below the parabolic curve. Notice here. And the month was uh, January. And the price range was about. Let's just call it about 768 bucks um, up to like 863 bucks. So if you were buying, you know, around that time, we were facing a lot of problems here in the U.S. Um, you did pretty good, actually. But let's stay on track. Uh, the official break below was in 2009. Um, let's see the first thing. Uh, what else were we going to OK, so we're also verifying uh, enter slash maintain price action within the ascending green um, uh, lines. OK. So that's pretty obvious here, right, guys? You can see it. Whoops. So we entered it right there in 2009-ish, right? Really 2008, October. But let's just call it this range here. Notice how we just kind of came in this range and, you know, kind of broke a little bit below there. But for the most part, we stay within this the green ascending lines here right in between them, right? Just like before the Great Depression, we've already measured that. So that looks good. Um, so I think we can put a check mark for number two as well and say that, yes, we verified the uh, price action. Let's see. Break below parabolic curve. Yes. OK, so we should all agree on this as well and say that, yes, we verified the break below the curve and entering and maintaining price action within the green ascending line. So check mark for that. Number three, enter this the blue zone, uh, break above pink resistance and break above the top ascending green lines of resistance. Same thing, guys, let's go ahead and zoom in here. So the first thing is, well, let's just go ahead and uh, figure out when we entered the blue zone, which was about, okay, so 2013-ish, excuse me, 1492 um, approximately is the number that um, the price action entered the green, uh, I'm sorry, the blue uh, zone. Uh, the top of the blue zone is gonna be about 2,950-ish, okay. So the first thing is uh, pink level of resistance, which is right here, and approximately 2,015. Found a little bit of resistance at the uh, 2,000 level, $2,000. Uh, and a little bit of resistance came down, came back up, and finally broke above that level in uh, 2016, July-ish, right? Um, let's see. So we're verifying that. And the next thing we got to verify is the actual break above the top of the green ascending level of resistance. So that's going to be kind of this area here. Notice it broke back below there. Um, and where we are current day, like right here. So basically the same thing. We found like two areas in the, um, if you, whoops. If you don't remember, I could just kind of take you back there really quickly. It was the same thing, guys. We found two areas where it broke above that ascending line. So pretty much the same thing here and here. So same thing, guys. 
um, almost identical, right? So that's pretty much it, right? So I think we can all agree and say, all right, cool. You're on to something here. Looks good. Um, yeah, looks um, pretty identical to what happened prior to the Great Depression. So we can definitely put a check mark. Hopefully we can all agree and say yes. We could put a check mark at number three as well. And everything pretty much looks the same as it did prior to the Great Depression. Now, with all of this information, I'm basically going to... Well, what was the other two? Now, remember the, um, the life uh, duration for the parabolic curve prior to the Depression was uh, 51 years. Notice the life expectancy, right, in quotations, because it's still... Uh, we don't know what's going to happen here in the, in the upcoming years here. Um, I think this year, I think I calculated, it would be 57 years, right? Um, the break below the parabolic curve was 47 years um, here in the uh, more recent days. Um, great, prior to the Great Depression, it was 41 years, okay? So we're basically six years ahead, if um, you look at it the right way. Excuse me. Um, so... I'd say that things do look strikingly similar to what has already played out in the charts prior to a very devastating downturn, which uh, I think I measured it was approximately about 86% to the downside. I mean, it was really, really bad, guys, and it didn't take long at all. It took about two to three years to actually fully, you know, flush out um, all of those gains. Um, See, it's about, uh, it's over 80% in less than three years, the uh, markets retrace. So it was very, very sharp, very de de devastating, very painful uh, move to the downside, guys. So I was about 83, about 83-ish percent. So that's basically what I'm seeing in the charts. Uh, I'm not saying that this is going to play out. Um, I'm not saying that the markets will retrace 80 something percent. Uh, does it have the potential to me personally? I think yes. If I had to guess, I personally don't think it would take a long time. I would definitely anticipate approximately the same amount of time, one to three years to make this uh, very uh, sharp move to the downside. Uh, when will it happen? I mean, your guess is better than mine. I can only speculate at this point and say I'm not sure, actually. I don't know. No one knows, right? But I, what I will say is the charts are looking very similar to what played out um, prior to the Great Depression. And we're like right up against the parabolic curve. I mean, we've already gone over it. It looks pretty, you know, pretty clean. I mean, if we zoom in here and just take a look at the parabolic curve. I mean, it looks pretty good. Found a little resistance there. What was it? I think it was 1974-ish. You know, we can just zoom in, just take a microscopic look, and you can see that the parabolic curve is pretty legitimate. Like, you know, it's very, at least I think, my personal opinion, look, we caught a little support here. So, I mean, I didn't just, like, make up this line. It took me quite a while to, you know, get the line there. I mean, it didn't take me very long, but, you know, I put the parabolic line up, and so far, like, we're literally right up against it. Basically, on the next open candle, we'll be literally sitting on the parabolic curve. Now, what happens from there, I honestly, I don't know what's going to happen, right? I can only speculate and say, you know, I don't know. Because um, I, I, I personally think there's still a little bit more room to go up. Uh, my uh, potential target for the S&P was actually 31 up to 3,600. Um... Guys, I, I think they're just as much ammunition that they have. They're going to exhaust all of the ammunition that they have. And they I'm referring to the Federal Reserve, uh, the guys that, that, that are pushing these markets up artificially. Again, that's my opinion. Um, but I just think at some point, man, it's, it, they have to relieve this exponential uh, move to the upside and let the markets correct to a much more organic price level and we just have to see where that price level is um, if I have to just go ahead and make a prediction here uh, the first level that I would be looking at personally would be the $2,100 $2,000 range like instantly like less than a year honestly less than a year and a half um, very sharp right 
and some may say oh wait that's pretty bearish but um guys we've been we've been overheated per my, my opinion right we've been overheated for quite some time uh from the current level that would be a 34 percent retracement not that bad but um bad enough to um get some selling pressure started in my opinion i think what's going to happen is look a lot of people are expecting a recession right and in my opinion there's no room for a recession to be honest with you the next thing that we're going to experience is perhaps something more severe than a recession you can make out that whatever you like but yeah that's my opinion um i think the markets will definitely be over exaggerated people are going to overreact right and that's just going to play out in the uh the charts and it will just be more devastating my opinion right uh people are going to be trying to get out before the next and it's just really going to start this really nasty dominoes effect so i don't want to go to rambling guys but that's just my opinion hopefully you guys found some valuable some interesting uh information in this in terms of comparing the charts um on what happened prior to the great depression i think it's pretty clear that um i mean it may be a stretch right but i think it's pretty similar um uh, my opinion so go ahead and leave your comments down below if you thought this was a pretty interesting layout of the charts um if you think i'm totally wrong about this leave those comments down as well i'm very open to open criticism to i'm sorry to uh, uh constructive criticism and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe for more future videos uh like this so I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, guys. Napoleon Macro. So until next time, be sure to tune in, guys, and take care of yourselves. Good day.